solitary confinement because we're finding that although solitary confinement, most of the prisoners are black males or mentally ill uh, prisoners who are being housed in solitary confinement, which is 23 hour lockdown. You're in a cell for 23 hours and you're only released out of that cell into a bigger, something like a fenced dog cage for what they call an exercise. But for the most part, the solitary confinement is used to punish, to um, stop uh, voices who are speaking up against the injustice that is going on behind bars. We are having prisoners that are being abused by guards, and we have prisoners that are placed in solitary confinement because they spoke out against this. We have mentally ill prisoners who are being thrown into cells to sit for 23 hours a day without proper medication, most of all who sometimes are sitting in their own feces, sometimes don't even know where they are. And more than anything, most, a lot of them are taking their lives because not being properly medicated and they start to live within their selves. And living within their selves, they're living within their own uh, uh, senses of what they think is going on in their head without the proper medication. So as I stand here today, there are some 80,000 people across the United States who are presently in solitary confinement. Our states are being burdened financially with these type of lockdown situations because each prisoner in solitary confinement, each prisoner who's placed in solitary confinement, when being transferred, it takes two guards to transport them to the shower, to transport them to their so-called one hour physical exercise, dog fenced in cage. That is a burden on the state because of the two officers that are needed to transfer each prisoner during this time. So I would say, and, and I, I know everyone here agrees with me that, outside of abolishing solitary confinement, we need to abolish the entire prison system. Yeah. All right. Woo. All right. Woo. All right. All right.